my name is Heather Hayes. I'm a physical therapist at the University of Utah at the ALS Neuromuscular Multidisciplinary Clinic. For this video, I want to go over how to use a Hoyer lift. A Hoyer is a patient lift system, and Hoyer is just a trade name uh, with like Coca-Cola. So there are patient lift system is the generic name. There are two types of slings that you can get. This is one, and this is the split leg lift system. As you can see, that it looks like a there's a top and a body and two parts to the leg. This is the preferred mechanism because it's easier to be able to um, put on and off. What I recommend is that you get two slings. This one may be hot, and you may want a separate sling that comes with mesh that you could use in the shower so that you can dry off more quickly. Same idea, split legs and a mesh system. So two slings would be ideal for showering. So what uh, we're gonna do next is go over how to put the sling on when you're in bed and actually how to lift somebody out of bed when they are maximally dependent on transfers. Okay, now I'm gonna go over how to put the sling on your individual when they're lying in bed, and we'll go through actually hooking this individual up to a uh, lift patient lift system. So the rolling that we just discussed is critical to make sure that you can maneuver the, the sling device underneath them. So I would have used uh, potentially my uh, sheet, but now that we have them on their side, you're going to take your sling and you're going to put the head up above the legs facing down. Roll it up the side that you want down because you're going to have to pull it out from underneath the individual. So now I have this uh, up towards the top of her head so that her head will be uh, supported. And I put the device up as close to her as I can. And this will make sense in just a second. So as all of the parts that are going to be on her right side of her body, as close to her as I can. Now we ask her to roll back, and we can relax for a second. And what you'll see now is that side looks pretty good. We come around to the other side, and we need to pull the sling out of this side where we had just put it underneath her. So now the, sl the sling is available to be able to pull her. Here is my leg sling. It's going to go under this leg to get ready to hook onto the lift system. And for this one, it'll go under the other leg. At this point, they will be crossing so that the, they are going to be supported through the pelvis, and then they're gonna be supported onto the head. Okay, so this is a patient lift system. And there's a few key components that you need to know about it. They do make these electric, but that requires that you have uh, power, and sometimes that's not always the case. So this tried and true is definitely going to be a uh, air mechanism to be able to um, lift it up. When you think about these, they are designed to go underneath the area that you are trying to get. So this is aligned up over the patient, and then you can maneuver the base so that the base is wider to be able to give it more support. You then put your uh, brakes on to the device so it is steady. So in order to um, pump this up, you can use this uh, lever here to be able to go up, and then there is a mechanism to lower it and push the device down. They make some that can go uh, into vehicles and that sort of thing. But, uh, and all, all the way to the ground. This would not be one that would go to the ground. This would be basically just to get you out of bed. So now what we have, if you remember, we put our sling on her, and we're going to cross it over so that they uh, go opposite, and you take the sling through the loop mechanism, and you take the other sling to the other side and hook it, and you want to be consistent, so if you're purple to purple or green to green, I'm actually going to go green to green on the hooking, which means it'll be a little bit tighter to start. Okay, and then I'm going to take this up just a little bit because I got too close to her. 
Okay, so next, uh, we do have a midsection, and I'm also going to go ahead and just try this for green right now. This will always be variable depending on the patient, and you will get more comfortable with which one fits your patient. I do suggest that you take some time to trial this on yourself as well as any other family members so that you all feel comfortable on how to use this device. We then have our head section, and we're going to bring that up. I'm going to start with black. And on the other side, we're also going to grab black. Okay, so now I have six points of contact connected to her. And this is a mechanism where we're going to lift her up. And it's going, this is a pump system. So it gently hugs her. And it should be symmetric because you may have all of your colors correct. In this example, I would prefer that we have a little bit more head support for her and have the sling a little bit higher. And there are different slings that can provide you more support. And basically what we're looking for is you can now see that her bomb is off of the off of the um, table. So she is now ready to do a transfer. I am going to unhook the brakes. I'm going to allow this easier to slide by pulling this mechanism, the, the uh, legs in. And then we're going to slide back. You can help guide the legs if you wish. But now she is in this lift system. And you'll see that she does pivot 360 degrees. So come out to where you want her to be. And you're usually not going to take this through the house. You are just trying to go small distances like we just did. Uh, we are now still maneuvering the device uh, away from the head towards the item that you're going to put them in. In this example, we're heading to this chair. So I'm going to open the legs a little bit to let it go around the wheelchair. And you want to make sure that you're high enough that you're over the chair, okay? And I would have her a little bit tighter on her shoulders. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock the lift system. Walk around towards the chair or the wheelchair or whatever it is you're trying to get them to. Lift them up. Put the chair under them. And now you can slowly lower with the release mechanism. Or locking. And maybe one more shift to pull them back. Okay. Now we're in the chair. And now I do recommend that we have all the resistance off in order to undo the sling. And I also recommend that sometimes it's not worth fighting with the sling on and off all day long. So some people will choose to stay in their sling all day because then we're ready to go if we need to go to a bathroom, to another chair, to a lounge chair. The idea is do not take the patient through the house with the lift mechanism. Put them into whatever device is necessary for them to roll in. This device is very difficult to roll over carpet or through bathrooms. But now she, let's imagine she could be in a rolling shower chair, she could be in a power wheelchair, and now she can go about her day. Thank you.